We want to talk about this new exciting research on 5G uh, that we are launching now. Uh, and I wanted to share some of the most exciting and top key findings from this report uh, as it pertains to 5G adoption in India. So what we're seeing in India is an increased sort of pace of 5G deployment. And that is also leading to this increased appetite uh, among consumers for 5G. Our research tells us that about 31 million uh, users are looking to buy 5G devices in, in 2023, uh, which talks about the, the, the enormous potential that 5G holds uh, for India. We also see that these users that are taking up 5G are extremely advanced when we compare them with uh, their global counterparts in early adopter markets. Uh, in what we have seen as far as usage is concerned is that these 5G users are engaging much more uh, with, with demanding applications, whether that's video streaming in high definition, uh, mobile gaming or esports. Uh, on an average, they are spending about 20 minutes per day, uh, which equates to about two hours more per week uh, in terms of engaging with these applications when you compare them with 5G users in some of the more early adopter markets like US, UK, Australia, uh, and so forth. And that, of course, has a big impact on data traffic as well. So, so what we are seeing from the survey also is that 5G users in India are consuming almost 1.5 to 2 times more data traffic uh, in comparison to uh, the 4G users in India. Now, it's, it's great that the usage is kind of kicking in. But it's even more important to understand what is the sort of experience 5G is actually delivering in India. And here we see that 5G users are extremely satisfied uh, with the 5G performance. Uh, 5G versus 4G performance, if you were to compare it, we see that 5G is uplifting uh, this level of consumer satisfaction by 30 percentage points in comparison to 4G, uh, indicating that early adopters who are taking a 5G are finding it uh, to be a good experience uh, and we have to see now how, you know, with the deployment pace, how things really go forward, uh, you know, whether we're able to further elevate uh, the 5G experience in, in the coming years. Now, there are a lot of questions raised about the monetization, uh, how this monetization potential is going to be uh, unlocked uh, as far as India is concerned. Uh, we have tested a lot of different pricing models and monetization paths with consumers, and we see this monetization uh, for 5G coming out in three phases in India. So the first phase is a lot about uh, what we are seeing right now is that increased data usage uh, among consumers would lead to, uh, you know, some of the plans getting exhausted and consumers kind of using up their uh, data allowances and of course upgrading to higher tiers of plans. Uh, and we see that about 40% of consumers believe that if they were to get more data on their 5G plans, uh, then they feel that uh, uh, paying a premium for 5G is going to be justified. But having said that, the second phase on the monetization side is where new pricing models and tiers are going to come in. Uh, here we are talking about content and application bundles uh, on the premium tier of 5G plans or even using speed tiering as one of the way uh, in order to go ahead and unlock the monetization potential. Uh, so that's the second step. And the last step is where we can think about what we call differentiated quality of service. Uh, and here we are talking about elevating the network performance uh, for users, which is roughly around 20% uh, in the Indian market. These users are saying that they're willing to pay for a differentiated quality of service that could come in for demanding uh, applications. It could be live streaming, it could be video streaming in 4K in important use places or places such as which are very extremely congested like stadium arenas airports and so forth so we see that there is a monetization potential for 5g and this can come in in three stages uh, as india progresses with rolling out 5g and there is a path that is now available to the service providers to go ahead and unlock uh, revenues coming from the 5g consumer market uh, so that's about it i hope uh, you know we will launch this report now and i hope uh, you're able to absorb all these rich insights uh, coming from the 5G Consumer Lab report. Thank you so much, and I urge you to go ahead and download the report. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.